Welcome back to Zero Gear. This is yet another game I haven't played in a very long time, and like Counter-Strike Condition Zero, this is a game I haven't played in quite a few years, three to be exact. But uh, I wanted to come back to this game because, uh, well, it's it's been a while, that's that's just become a running theme with uh, these kinds of videos, just because it's been a while. But uh, I did want to revisit this game, uh, play it again, just to see if it's, uh, if it was, uh, as fun as it was, uh, a few years ago. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have already, uh, uploaded a couple videos of Zero Gear to my channel. Um, this is actually part three of the Zero Gear series, if you couldn't tell from the title. But, um, I first played this game quite a while back. I played this back in August 2012, and I haven't played it since. So, it's been about three years since I made a video of this game. And, uh, I just wanted to come back to it because, uh, I wanted to play it again. Um, nothing new has been added to the game. Um, the game has not been updated since, uh, I last played it. In fact, it hasn't been updated in, like, over five years. So, I, I think the developers completely forgot about this game. But, uh, we're gonna play it again. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Zero Gear, um, it's basically like a... Kind of like Mario Kart. It's a kart racing game. And, yeah, it, it, it's basically like like Mario Kart. That's all I can really say about it. Um, this is my character right here. Um, if you go into Garage, you can create your uh, own character. Uh, this is a character I created a very long time ago. As you can see, he's a robot wearing a golden monocle with a gentleman mustache, wearing headphones, driving a shoe with an engine in the back, and, uh, with, with donut wheels that are, that have odd colors on them. I, I don't know what, what this creature is supposed to be. Um, anyway, we're going to, uh, create a game here. Um, there is no single player mode in this game, by the way. It's just, it's purely multiplayer. Purely multiplayer action right here. So, we have, uh, some players here. I'm gonna just set this to private, because I don't plan on playing with other people. Um, there's barely any people who play this game. Like, Zero Gear is not a very well-known game, even though you can purchase it on Steam. But, uh, the game does have some pretty good reviews. 82% positive out of approximately 600 reviews, so just pretty good. Um, I guess we'll just create a server here. So, minimum player 7. Empty slots will be filled with bots, so I will be racing against some bots here. Um, I will be showing off some, uh, maps in this, uh, video. Well, actually, there's still some maps in uh, Zero Gear that I haven't shown off yet. So, maybe I'll show them off in uh, this video, but uh, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'd like to uh, play some of the uh, the sports maps again, but I uh, guess we'll start with this map first. Now, I don't remember if I uh, reviewed this map in one of my uh, other Zero Gear videos, but this is a map called Aqua Race. Um, as you can see, you're just racing in water. I'm not even sure how this works. So as you can see, um, yeah, it's a lot like Mario Kart. Uh, you can press the W, A, S, and D keys to control your car, press shift to boost, and, uh, left click to, uh, use items. Like, this is an ice cube. So you can see if you use the ice cube, you can freeze your enemies. That guy just stole my item from me. So yeah, it, it's pretty physics-based as well, and, uh, I have no control of my car right now. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? That guy's in a tank. Wow, somebody just exploded. <laughs> yeah, uh, there, there's some power-ups that explode here. Or some items. Um, alright. Well, this thing is a love bot. It basically, uh, targets other, uh, it just spun me out. That's fantastic. Well, get out of my way, rubber ducky. Jeez. But yeah, the love bot... Um, it targets other, uh, racers, and, uh, clings onto the back of their car, and it explodes after a few seconds. So that's basically how the love bots work. And, wow, okay, I am just really bad at this. Holy jeez. Well, then again, it has been about three years since I last played this. Also, I'm pretty sure I just heard thunder outside again, so... But because I'm an idiot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue recording. I don't, I don't care. I am, I am a little bit nervous playing this right now, because it it has been thundering quite a bit outside uh, today. And uh, recording during a thunderstorm is not the smartest idea in the world, but I'm still going to do it anyway, because 
I really want to try getting this video out today. I apologize if this video is coming out a bit late today, just so you, just so you know. Because, uh, I'm recording this at almost 9 o'clock at night, and I still haven't uploaded anything today yet, so... Sorry if this is coming out a bit late. Uh, let me use another love bot here. There we go. It just, it just targets random players. I really should use some of my boost here. Let me get up. There we go. Oh, by the way, you can press the space bar to, uh, jump a little bit. It's not a huge jump, however, just like a little, a little hop. Okay. We're in the water slide. <laughs> Look at everyone. They, they can't figure out where the heck to go. Yeah, there's, uh, th th this AI is not, is not all that smart. Not really, anyway. Also, they have strange names. Like, uh, that, that bot's name is, is Rosie Jupiter. There's another one called L Lil Wellen Underpants. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that name. Uh, Velcro Longhorn. So, yeah, if you're playing this with bots, they have really strange names, and... Oh, okay. I just got a speed boost right here. Get up, please. Wow, really? <laughs> Goodness gracious. What are these physics? Get that ice cube. Oh! Wait, can I freeze myself in the ice cube? Oh, wow, I can. Actually, you know, I, I never knew you could do that. You could freeze yourself with your own ice cube. Holy crap, I am, I am being really bad at this right now. Come on. Well, when that timer appears, that means somebody's already crossed the finish line. Alright. Let me just go here. Alright, well that that was that was a good race, guys. I I finished last. Alright, well, screw you too. Um, let's let's go to uh You know what? I think I'm gonna go to uh one of the uh the um what am I trying to say here? One of the one of the sports maps. Jeez. Let's go to hoops. Alright. So yeah, there's a bunch of uh sports maps in this game as well, so it's not just all about racing. Uh some of the sports maps uh, are like, uh, you know, hockey, basketball, uh, soccer, and even football. Like, American football, I mean. Um, I'm not sure if I reviewed the uh, hoops map before. I don't think I have, but... Yeah, as you can see, you're basically playing basketball with, um, with, with, your, with your cart. Not using any hands, you're just using vehicles. Holy jeez, where is this ball? Okay. So yeah, you have this uh, power-up right here, which I think is called the Sucker Punch. Um, basically, you can you can punch things with it and just send them flying into the air. Um, okay. Well, if we're scoring into red, then that's good, because we I'm on the blue team. There we go, we scored. And get the heck out. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can perform tricks as well. When you're uh, in the air... You can, uh, move your card around to perform tricks. If you land a trick successfully, I think you get points. Oh my goodness, just sent him soaring into the air. There we go, doing some barrel rolls. Alright. If you hear a little sound effect after you land, that means you performed a trick successfully. Uh, we don't want to hit it into our basket, come on. Gotta move around here. And I got it. Oh! Okay, I don't know how that, that flew all the way over there. Oh my goodness. I'm just getting launched. For goodness sakes. Come on. Ugh. Oh, darn it. Almost got it over there. Hang on, I need, I need another one of these. Dang it. No, it's going... Wow, where is it going? It, wow, it flew right into the basket. From like a million miles away. What the heck was that all about? Alright, well, it's tied. And here we go. Come on, we gotta hit this into the gold. Why is everyone upside down? Goodness gracious. Wait, where's where where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't know where the heck that flew off to. Oh, there we go. Here we go. That's good. That's good. That's the good. That's the good. Oh, okay. Going the other way. Hang on. Nope, gotta hit it away from there. There. Well, thank you. One of the one of the guys on the red team, uh... Hit it towards 
their own goal. Thanks, we appreciate it. Oh god, no. No! Block it! Oh god, where is it? These, these things are not the easiest to control. Uh, is that gonna go right in? Actually, it looks like it... Oh, uh, well, it almost did. Oh, come on here. Dang it. I wish I wish there was like a way to just for uh like to adjust the camera so that it focuses on just the ball because I I can't keep track of this thing. I mean there is an arrow telling me where it is, but still I need to maneuver around like this. Holy jeez. Things are not the easiest to control. And uh oh, okay. That's no, that's going the wrong way. Dang it. Nope. This way, this way, please. All right, it's going, it's going that way. Let me hit it. Oh, how you want that one? No, nope. I'm gonna hit it. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Just um, gonna up here. I wish my teammates would stop crashing into me and messing me up. Will you get out of the way? Good lord. What is this AI? Is that gonna go in? No, it almost did. Let me hit it. There we go. Oh, is that is that gonna go in? No, of course it didn't. Well, if the game does end and the score is tied, then uh, we go to overtime. And the game will stay in overtime until someone scores. Oh my goodness, okay. That almost went in our, our basket. Someone knocked it out the very last second. Goodness gracious, okay. Did, hit it. Dang it. Ugh. Oh my goodness, that thing was coming right for me. Nope. Hit it away. Where is it? Okay, it's just staying right there. Okay, move it that way. There, we just need to score. Come on. Jeez, guys, could you, could you go f move faster than that, please? Need my teammates. Okay, well, looks like we're going overtime. Yep, the game's not ending. Get out of my way. My god. AI, please. Alright, here we go. Ugh! And where's that going? Oh, it's coming back. Oh! Okay, somehow it, it landed over there. I'm not sure how. Where is it? It's coming this way. Nope! Get blocked. There we go. Move it move it that way. There, yes. Ooh. And the reason I just said ooh is because I just saw lightning outside. Oh my god, I should not be recording right now. I should not be recording. <laughs> should not be doing this. It's bad. It's the it's the dumb. It's the dumb. I'm being the dumb right now. Oh, I'm I'm really being the dumb. Just just end please. Okay, is it gonna go in? Oh my god, okay, well, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm changing this. Actually, I think I might just stop recording for now, guys, because, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be doing this right now. Wait, what is this? Why did, like, a crosshair appear on my screen? What the heck was that all about? Okay, I need to stop recording, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. So, I had to stop recording for the rest of the night due to very frequent thunder and lightning. But I'm happy to say that the thunder has finally subsided, and I can continue recording more footage of Zero Gear. Um, because I decided to stop recording for the rest of the night, um, I am recording this part of this video uh, on the following day. Um, all the Zero Gear footage you just watched up to this point was recorded on August 4th. But I'm recording this part of the video on August 5th because I didn't want to be recording during a thunderstorm. I'm, I'm not that stupid, guys. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So I just I just decided to wait until tomorrow to uh, finish this recording. But uh, we're going to continue playing Zero Gear here. I'm not done just yet. There are still some uh, maps I want to uh, play again. So we're going to continue playing this for a little while longer. So... Let's uh, create another game here, and I think the next map I'm going to go to is uh, Shoot Shoot. Alright guys, so here we are at Shoot Shoot. So, the objective of this map is to get as m much speed as possible. 
and launch yourself into one of these holes to score points. And that's that's the entire objective of this uh, map right here. And you can still perform tricks while doing so. But uh, as you can see, I didn't get any points because I suck. And these guys are still flying around here. So there is a time limit. You have to try and, and score in at least uh, 40 seconds. Otherwise, well, the round resets after 40 seconds, so... Alright, let's, let's, let's try doing this better this time. Let's see if I can, uh... Try, uh... Oh, well, okay. Well, I'm not gonna be able to launch myself into any of the holes now, because... Some guy just ran me out of the way. Thanks, jerk. I appreciate it. Come on. I, I, I don't suck that much at this game. I need to try scoring some points. No! Do not. Do not even think about this. Get into 30. There we go. So, as you can see, once I uh, landed in the 30, it changed to a 20. Which means anyone who lands in the same hole as me only gets 20 points instead of 30. So, that, that that's how that works. There is another game mode like this, which uh, I think I will be showing off later on. But, uh, yeah, again, 20. Okay, I'm, n I'm not sure who landed in there first, me or Ace Suds. But, uh, okay, well, I finished fourth. So yeah, that's basically what that map is. Shoot, shoot. Pretty simple. Just try to score as much points as possible. I think the next map I'm gonna go to is Pachinko, which is kind of like Shoot, Shoot, except it's, well, Pachinko. So, let, let's do this here. As you can see, you need to drive your car right into the Pachinko machine here and navigate your way through these these pegs, and once again try to score some points. I almost got the 40 there. Alright. So I got a 20. Blazing Airplane got 90 somehow. I don't know how the heck he accomplished that, but... So yeah, once again, pretty simple game mode. You do get a spring, so you can uh, launch yourself forward, try to be uh, the first one to uh, make it to the bottom, so that you can get all the points. There we go, got a 50. Nice. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a 50, because I had 20 before, okay. I'm at 70. Uh, wait, is there, is there another guy? Um, I think there is another guy somewhere. I see his shadow, but, uh, he's not moving, which means the round is just, is just going to reset. Right about now? Okay. Well, that was kind of delayed, but... All right. Let's do this then. All right. Try this again. Uh, my spring barely did anything. Nope. Drive down. Into the machine. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I have no clue where the heck I'm going, but could you fall a little bit faster, please? Get in the 50. There we go. Got another round. Uh, I'm at 120 points right now. Where is the 90 located, though? I don't- I don't remember. I know that I've already, uh, played Pachinko in one of my previous Zero Gear videos, but I haven't played Shoot Shoot or Aqua Race yet, and I know I've, uh, already played Hoops. Um, when I played Hoops just a few minutes ago, or at least it was a few minutes ago in this video, um, I said that I didn't think I already reviewed Hoops, but actually I did. After I stopped recording, I decided to, uh, go and check after the thunder and lightning stopped, obviously, um, to see if I was right about, uh, me not reviewing hoops yet, and actually, I already did. I played hoops back in part one of this series, so, just wanted to clarify that. But I have, in fact, played hoops already. Aqua Race and Shoot Shoot, I haven't, though. Hut! There we go. And where are we going? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Get the 90. Get the 90. Yeah, yeah! Alright, the 90's located right in the center. No, you go over in that 60. Um, I got third place. Third place ain't so bad. Alright, I think we're gonna go to another, uh, map here. This one's called Sumo Arena. Let's go, let's go here. So, the objective of Sumo Arena, and I have already, uh, played this map. I played this map back in part two. But the objective of Sumo Arena is to 
uh, knock the other players off the stage, and the last man standing wins. And as you can see, uh, the only item you get here is the Sucker Punch item, and you have it with you pretty much all the time. Although you, you kind of have to wait a few seconds for it to, to come back, but other than that, you have it pretty much all the time. And that's the objective, just knock people off the, off the platform, or off the stage. Now, you do need to be careful, though, because uh, as the timer depletes, parts of the stage will start to fall. Um, at about a minute and 30 seconds, as you can see, the purple stage falls. And in a few seconds from now, the blue stage will fall. Um, it should fall right about now. There we go. So the blue stage falls. I don't know how this guy is still alive. Nope. Get off, please. There we go. He's done. I think everyone's done. Uh, no, except for except for that guy. Okay, well, he's done now. So yeah, the red stage falls, and... That's all you do in uh, Sumo Arena. It's a pretty simple map. Just have to uh, knock everyone off the stage and be the last man standing in order to win. That's how this works. Not really anything else left to say about that, and wow, the game started before the timer finished counting down to 3-2-1, what the heck? Started prematurely. That was strange. Uh, I guess I could play one more round of this, though, before moving on to the next map. Ugh! Get punched! Get punched! Yeah, yeah! Mm. Okay. Gotta, gotta go this way. No. Nope. So, I, I would say the best strategy to use here is just is just wait until the... If you're playing against uh, bots, just wait until the bots use their Sucker Punch. Because they seem to use their Sucker Punch like once every three seconds. No matter if they're, uh, if they're close to another player. So, they just use it at complete random, it seems. Doesn't, doesn't matter if there's a player near them. They just, they just use it out of complete randomness. Kind of use it for no reason, but, uh, yeah. So, that's how this works. So I would say the best strategy is to wait until they use their Sucker Punch and then use your Sucker Punch. Go in for the kill. So, um, what else do I, what else do I want to do here? Which, which one do I want, did I, uh, want to review here? Um, what is Tag Arena? I don't remember what Tag Arena is. Oh, right. Um, okay, I remember what tag, tag Arena is now. Um, Tag Arena is where you have to tag other players. So, the person who is it has to go for uh, other players or... Actually, no. Do you have to... No, you have to, uh... You have to hit the guy who's it. Okay. Yeah, you have, you have to run away from everyone else. Yeah, you have to get the guy with an arrow over his head, and, uh, you have to basically run away from everyone else, because you'll score points by doing that. As long as you can outrun everyone else, you'll, you'll score points. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, this item is a force field. As you can see, it pushes people away from you. That's how that works. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, I can use all of my items here. Okay, I need to go for, I need to go for this guy right here. I need to... Get it, take it, take it away from him. Darn it. Where's he going? Oh. Yeah, also, um, it can flip as well. Being it will now drain points, as you can see. So, it kind of changes, um, as, as the game goes on. Sometimes, uh, being it will, uh, reward points, and being it will drain points. But, when it awards points, you wanna go for the guy who's it. But, when it's draining points, you want to stay away from the guy who's it, so... That's that's how this game mode works. And... Think, what the heck? I did touch him. How did... How did... How did that not count? Come here. Oh! Okay, where the heck are you? Give me... Get that love bot. In the force field. Well, the force field's just gonna push it away from him, so it's not really... Push him away from me, I mean, so it's not the the best item to use in this scenario. Goodness gracious, where are you? So yeah, you can't let that meter fill up. If that meter fills up completely, then the person who's it wins. You can't let that happen. Uh, okay, get this tornado. Whoa! 
So, uh, yeah, the tornado item, it, uh, it picks people up. Lifts people off the ground and, uh, throws them all over the place. Wait, where's the guy who's it? Oh, he's over there, okay. Just stay away from him. Okay, now, go, go for him now. I, I should use my boost, actually. That's what I should be doing, come on. Can I at least score some points here? Get over here. Whoa! Oh, look at that trick. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, we're, we're going all track mania up in this. How you doing? Dang it. Come on. You're just... Oh my goodness, look how fast he's going. He's just wall riding. This is track mania. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Get down here, for goodness sakes. Get him. Dang it. Who's... Okay, you. Touch, touch. Touch him, touch him, touch him. There we go. Now I need to go away. I need to get away. Oh! Oh, I don't have any boost. Oh, I don't have any boost. <laughs> it's not good if I don't have boost. Okay, just run. Just run! Get rid of this sucker punch. I don't I don't need it. Love bot. Wreck those fools. Please. Oh, God. Oh! Force field. There we go. Force field's the best. Force field's good to use. Okay, now I need to get rid of this because it's draining my points. Oh, you're stuck. Okay, you take it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, Viper Ravioli is, is just stuck. Oh god, he's not stuck anymore. Okay, well... that th Thanks for that. What are you all doing over here? Darn it. No. Put this on s someone else, please. Okay, never mind. It it's all good now. I'm getting points again. So I just gotta run away. Run away! Force field. There we go. Uh. Where the heck is everyone else? Oh yeah, um, another thing I should mention is that if you stay closer to the center, you'll get more points. So, you'll earn points much faster if you stay near the center. See? See how I'm getting more points now? So, that's, that's, that's how that works. That's how it works, and so does Sputnik is, uh, is stuck again. I hear that. Oh god. Okay. Get the mine. Is someone gonna hit the mine? No? Get some more mines. Yeah, Soda Sputnik is just, is just, uh, stuck there. Lovebot? Wreck him, please. Oh god, okay. I need, I need to get rid of it now. So, someone crash into me, please. You there. There. Go. Not losing any of my points. Oh, I'm in the lead right now, though. It's pretty good. But, um... Yeah, that's that's basically how this game mode works. I'm not gonna wait until I uh, until I uh, actually uh, un until this game mode ends is what I'm trying to say. Jeez, why am I having such a hard time talking today? Good lord. But yeah, I'm not gonna wait until this game mode ends to. Uh, well, I'm not waiting for this game mode to end is what I'm trying to say. Let's just, just go to uh, um, go to Kick It. Kick It is a, a map I already played, but I want to play it again here. So, this is Kick It. So the objective of Kick It is that it's soccer. But again, it's with cards. And the only item you get is a sucker punch. And you have to punch the ball into uh, the opposing team's goal. That's how this works. Now, there's actually uh, a game that was released on Steam recently that uh, kind of reminds me of this, actually. Oh, and we scored. Alright, well that's good. Get me in there. Boom. Get wrecked. But yeah, um, there's a game that came out on Steam recently that kind of reminds me of this. Um, recently there was a game released on Steam called Rocket League, and I've been looking at Rocket League for quite some time now, and it looks like a pretty fun game, and I was thinking of making a video of it. Um, not multiple videos, but just like a one-shot gameplay video. But uh, Rocket League is, is kind of like the Kick It game mode from Zero Gear. Um, it's like soccer, except with RC cars, and it looked like a pretty cool game. I really want to try making a video of Rocket League, uh, sometime soon. Not to mention, pretty much every YouTuber on the planet is playing Rocket League right now, so, um, might as well join in on the fun. But, uh, yeah, I would really like to play Rocket League, uh, sometime soon, and 
Rocket League is basically like this. It's like the Kick It game mode from Zero Gear. It's soccer, but with RC cars. So, it's, it's very similar to this. Maybe not Zero Gear itself, but this game mode. Alright. So, where's this ball going? Okay, hit it over here. Boom! Alright, let's see if we can actually win win a match this time. And not go into overtime for like five hours. Let's do this. Where's it going? Alright, landed right in front of me. Hang on. Need to, need to set this up here. Hey! Okay. How did I even flip over? Sucker Punch went in... Went in the complete opposite direction. Okay, hang on. We're going over here. And... If my teammates would get out of the way... Boom! Darn it. Okay, I did not I did not time that well at all. Hang on. Uh, wait, where is the soccer ball? Oh, over here. Nope! Come on here. Pick up this, this sucker punch. Okay, they're moving it back. Alright, here we go. In for the kill! Why does the sucker punch sometimes push the ball away instead of pushing it forward? That's the thing I don't like about the sucker punch. You can also hit the ball from the side and it and it pushes it away from you. Ugh. It's probably the <laughs> Yeah, and, and and only I would would probably get annoyed by something like that. Out of every person in the world, I'm the only one who would get annoyed by something as stupid as that. I'm really sorry, but it, it, it just does. I don't like it. Okay, here we go. Hit the... Dang it. Stop moving. Turn around. Push it. Okay, I just push it even further. Towards the goal here. Okay, come on. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? You're going over here. Okay, push it. Push it forward. There we go. There we go. That's the good. That's the good. No. No, they're messing it up. Oh my goodness, if they would stop running into me. Okay, here. The, oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If we if we stay at like one nothing like this, we'll still win the match, but... Jeez, the ball's been so close to, to getting into the other team's goal. I just want to... just want to... Get it in there. Okay, no, put... Move that away. Get the heck out. Alright. Get out of here, MC Giggles. Oh, we got MCX as well. Oh, no, he's gonna mess this up. No, no. Okay, just push, 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 put. No! Don't use your darn sucker punch. I had it. But then one of my teammates decided to use a sucker punch for some stupid reason. This is why I'd rather be playing with real people, but that's the problem. Barely anyone even plays this game. In fact, uh, before I decided to start recording again, I decided to check how many servers there were. There were only two servers! Only two servers with barely anyone playing. Okay, there we go. At least we scored. But yeah, there's, there's barely any servers that exist for this game. Anyway, we won. It doesn't matter. It will count down, but then it'll it'll be over immediately, so... And, what? Okay, why did it load Pachinko again? That's not even what I wanted to do. Um, let's go to Skate. No, we're... No. Load Skate, please. Jeez. Okay. So, the objective of Skate... Is that people try to murder you by running into you. No. <laughs> um... The, the uh, objective of Skate is to perform tricks. Try to land the tricks correctly. And if you land them correctly, you'll get points, as you can see. So that's how this game mode works. Wow. Where the heck did that tornado go? Whoa! There we go. Get some air time with the tornado, but... Yeah, that's all you do in this uh, game mode. Just perform tricks. And uh, get points. That's all you do in this game mode. Simple as that. And there's only about a two and a half minute time limit. You can also use uh, use the uh, regular items in this game mode as well. I don't know why, but you just can for some reason. Uh, if you go up here, actually, go up this ramp. Whoa! What did I even bounce off of? Okay. Back up so I can get this item. Oh, the spring. Oh, wait. 
I never tried going up here before. Let me, let me, let me do this. All right, here we go. Oh, the air time! Get the flips, the double flip. I don't know what kind of flip that is, though, but it's not exactly a front flip or a back flip. I don't know what it is. There we go. Yeah, so... You can tell if you perform the trick correctly if uh, a glowing orb suddenly comes out of your car. So, if a glowing orb suddenly appears, that means you did the trick correctly. But it's weird, though, because sometimes when I perform tricks, it, it doesn't count. It's really weird. Like, sometimes I think I'm performing it correctly, and and it doesn't work. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how, how this thing works, though, but front flip... There we go, there's the glowing orb if you if you saw it there. Or there's glowing orbs coming out of other people as well. But uh yeah. So that's how you do that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I landed that correctly. Hey Oh, there we go. Oh I got turned around here. Get some points. Yeah, see, it, it doesn't count sometimes though. Can I go through this this loop right here? Okay, well I just flew out of it. Good. Good. Barrel roll. There we go. Get one more trick in. Well, I only got 6th place. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at this game mode. Mainly because the, the trick detection in this game is, is, is weird. But, uh... Anyway, guys. Um... I don't remember what Punch Bowl is, but, uh... Actually, what is Punch Bowl? I am gonna be ending this video off, like, right now, but, uh... Oh, it's just another tag map. Okay, well, hello, Ice Cube. <laughs> the heck did you come from? It just flew right over me. Oh, uh, yeah, Punch Bowl is just another another tag map. Uh, Rinky Dink, it's uh, basically hockey. And Touchdown is is football. So, here's, here's Rinky Dink, as you can see. But, uh, as I'm playing Rinky Dink here, I am going to uh, end this video off. So, um... Yeah, that is that is zero gear. And uh, by the way, I guess I guess I could mention this. Uh, you can use any sort of item in the uh, hockey game mode. You can also do this in the football game mode. So you're allowed to use any item you want, not just uh, sucker punch, which is pretty cool. But uh, anyway, guys, I think this is where I'm gonna end things off. So that's zero gear. Um, it's still a pretty fun kart racing game. Of course, it's not it's not the best game in the world, but. Uh, Still kind of fun. Still get some enjoyment out of playing the game every now and then. So, if you want to play this game for yourself, uh, the link's in the description. Like, uh, if you want to purchase the game on Steam, I mean, the link's in the description. And uh, this game is not uh, not expensive. It's actually pretty cheap. Um, when I purchased this game back in 2010, when it first came out, um, this game cost about twenty dollars, or was it thirty? And it was, it was like 20 or $30 or something like that. But uh, I just checked on Steam, and it only costs $5 now. So it's a really cheap game. And uh, I think it's worth the $5. Still a pretty fun game, I would say. So I think it's definitely worth the $5. Not very expensive. It was a lot more expensive when I first purchased it. But uh, now that the price has gone down, I think it's definitely worth the $5. I wouldn't say it's it's worth like twenty or thirty dollars, but five, it it's okay. I think you guys will get some enjoyment out of this game, and I just hit it towards my own goal. Good. <laughs> I really know how to play hockey. I'm Canadian. I should know how to play hockey, but anyway, um, yeah. By the way, you can use the tornado to pick up the hockey puck as well. That actually works, and so does the force field, which is which is kind of interesting. Oh, I thought I could get on top of the hockey puck there, but anyway. Alright, take me places, Tornado. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, well, I didn't see inside the Tornado. Yeah, you can get picked up by your own Tornado, so you gotta be uh, careful about that. Also, it makes sense that you would be using ice cubes, because this is ice after all, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This video is done now. I'm gonna stop talking, I promise. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.